everyone. Welcome to Play Hooky with me. My name is Roz and today I want to share with you how to make this super quick and easy witch's hat that can be brewed up within an hour. I'm a very slow crocheter so I'm willing to bet some of you could probably whip this up in 30 to 45 minutes but I didn't want to oversell it too much but it's definitely one once you get the hang of this pattern you'll be whipping right through it. In this video, I'm going to share how to measure to make the perfect fit for you and how to easily adapt this pattern to meet your needs. You may want it to be longer or shorter. I'll also share the different yarns to get different effects. And as always, there are timestamps below so you can jump to your point of interest. So yeah, let's just get started and play some spooky hooky. Okay, so getting started with this is really easy to measure. Uh, if you are doing it for someone else, you can always Google to see the average sizes for uh, men, women, and children. But if you're doing it for yourself, I would just take a tape measure or a long string of yarn and just wrap it around your head. I like to put it right above the ears and right above my eyebrows to get my head circumference and mine came out to be about 21 inches and I think that's pretty average for a female. And that is going to be the number that you're going to use to build. We're going to start in the corner here that the tip of your hat working in continuous rounds until we get to that number and then we're going to start with our brim at that point really easy okay so for yarn and hook size for this particular one i wanted to have something that had a little bit of shine to it so i picked a um, the super saver metallic by red heart i really like these little flints of uh, silver in it i thought it it doesn't really show up well on camera but in the, in real uh, it does have a lovely little sparkle to it when the light hits it if you decide that you want to use the same yarn, I actually had to use two strands at the same time. That's very easy to do. You just take the center strand as well as the outer strand and just pull them and work them together. This one ball, this five ounce ball had 255 yards and I had plenty after making my hat. This is all I had left over. So you are well on your way to making at least one hat with one uh, skein of yarn here. Uh, for this yarn weight, it's recommended that you use a 5.5 millimeter, but I did double up the yarn, so I ended up using a 9 millimeter hook. I absolutely love this hook. I've never used a plastic hook before, and I got this from Clover Amour, I believe. And you guys, if any of you can recommend a plastic hook for three and a half or four millimeter, please leave me a comment in the description box below. This brand does not go that small, but I just love the weight of this. I have wrist issues, and I don't know if any of you else have that issue as well, but I found with the plastic hook, I could work a lot longer. I wanted to mention a little bit about yarn choices and how to pick your yarn. It really depends on how you want your finished product to look and feel. Uh, if you want it to have a, a stiffness to it or a way that you can easily shape it, this is what I was looking for, then you want to find a yarn that's a bit, oh, I don't know what a technical term for this would be, something drier, something that has wool in it or is just a little bit more dry. Definitely not one that says soft or literally feels soft when you go to test it out. This is why I really like the Red Heart Super Saver. Normally I don't use this brand because I found that it's a bit too dry for my fingers. I get burns from it when I'm working with it for a long time so I avoid it usually but for this project it was perfect. The hat holds its shape beautifully with this yarn especially if you're going to do two strands of yarn for this uh, so I would recommend something like this. Now if you want one that is softer and does flop and you do want it to be a little bit more uh, flexible and flip floppy then I would definitely ignore that and look for one that has soft on the description on the packaging. Initially I was going to use this yarn. This is by Lion Brand and it's called Wool Ease Thick and Quick. This is a bulky yarn and I think the required hook size for this is a 9 millimeter and it was working out really well but it was only how many yards? It was only 92 yards and so I ran out of it very quickly and instead of going straight back to the store to get more I did check at my local store and found this and this is what I initially wanted to use anyway so I didn't finish this one but I would recommend this yarn as well. I really liked how it was coming up. Oops, dog hair. So if you want to give this one a go this one is called Constellation 
by Lion Brand. Now this hat is super easy and it's just worked in rounds of single crochets. I'm going to work in a continuous round so I would recommend that you get yourself a stitch marker or a piece of yarn in a contrasting color so that you can mark your way. We're going to begin with a magic circle. Now if you do not like making magic circles you can go ahead and chain four and uh, join it together with a slip stitch. Once you've got to that point go ahead and do six single crochets. Now if you are doing the chain four with a slip stitch be sure and carry your tail just as if you would with a magic circle. That way you can use it to cinch it closed. It will tighten the center for you to give you the same effect as a magic circle. Okay, once you have your six single crochets in your magic circle or in your regular circle, go ahead and tighten it to cinch it closed. Now typically we would go ahead and slip stitch into the beginning chain there, but we're not doing that. We're going to get our stitch marker at this point and put it into the very last stitch that we made. Many crocheters when they're working in the continuous round like this will put their piece of yarn right here in the center right before they start their next row. Uh, you can do that too. I just find for me it's a lot easier for me to remember and keep track of where I am when I put a stitch marker in the very last stitch. But we're going to do another row of six single crochets. This is the only time in the body of the hat that we're going to repeat the same number twice. After this we're going to actually repeat the uh, number three times and that will make sense here in just a moment. But for now we've done our six single crochet. We're going to continue with round two with six more single crochets. See I'm in the last row here. I'm just going to remove my little stitch marker. Do my last one. Put it back and that's round two completed. We're ready to work round three now and just as a reminder we're working in multiples of six for this hat and so we're wanting to double this up now. We're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around to get ourselves up to 12. in the last stitch. Okay, I'm going to put my stitch marker back in. And now we have our 12. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to do two rows with single crochet. So we're going to repeat the 12 and this is how your pattern is going to be throughout. We're going to do an increased row every third row. Okay, make sure that you have 12 stitches and now it's time to do an increase row. So we're going to do one single crochet and then an increase and repeat that all the way around. We're working multiples of six so we're going from 12 to 18. I find it easiest to just tell myself the repeat in my mind so it would be for me for this round it's one, two, one, two all the way around. One, two, we're increasing, one, two, one, and 
to and we always know that we're finishing on an increase so that's a good way to keep check on what you're doing if you don't finish on an increase then you know you've miscounted at some point and you need to take it back and recount okay go ahead and put your stitch marker back in place and be sure and check your count before you move on Okay, making sure that you have 18. Now we're going to do two rounds of 18. This is just to gradually build our cat. Okay, once you have your uh, two rounds of 18 finished, now it's time for another increase round. And we're doing multiples of six, so it's time for us to up it by six, which will give us 24. And we are going to repeat the same system. How we did it before was we did one single crochet with an increase. Now we're going to do two single crochets with an increase. And that will get us up to 24. So one, two increase one two increase one two and increase okay so now that we're finished with our increase row now we're going to do the next two rows with the same amount we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch so that's going to be two rows of 24 single crochets Okay, we're on our final one. And we are ready to increase again. Now we're moving from 24 up to 30. Remember, we're working in multiples of six. Now we're going to do three single crochets with an increase. Can you see how the pattern's uh, repeating itself? We're just moving up by one each time. I'm going to go ahead and do this round with you guys, and then I'm going to add a little cheat sheet so that you can continue on working this way until you get down to your uh, desired circumference. Please remember it may take less rows for you to get to your circumference or more, depending on your hook size and your yarn. One, two, three. I'm sorry, my hands are getting sweaty, I guess, because now it's starting to squeak. Okay, and an increase. Three single crochets. One, two, three. Increase. two, three, and we're on the very last one. We know it's an increase, so we're on track. And that has increased us up to 30. Double check that you have 30. And then if you do, repeat these next two rows with 30 single crochets. And like I said, I'm going to add a cheat sheet now so that you can see how to continue on to get to your desired uh, hat size for the circumference. And then I will meet you back here to work on the brim. Okay, so working on the brim, when you get ready to work on the brim, you're going to repeat whatever your last row was. Let's say it was 48 stitches. You're going to repeat that again. You're only going to be doing single crochets again. 
to begin your brim, but you're going to be working into the front loop only. This is going to cause a ridge, and that is what's going to help your piece or your rim start turning. And you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. So go ahead and repeat whatever stitch mount your previous round was. Uh, for this little sample here, I'm on 30, so I'm going to repeat that one more time to start the brim, working only in the front loop doing single crochets all the way around. This will slow you down just a little bit, but that's just because you're working, you're trying to work just into those front loops. Sorry for the squeaky yarn. And then you're at the end here, you're in your very last stitch. All right. And go ahead and replace your stitch marker so you don't lose track. And this is super easy. Now you're just going to continue on like you were for the base of your hat. Whatever number you are on, now you're going to increase by six. Again, I'm going to show you the chart so that you can see what row or how many um, stitches you need for your increase. Once you finish your increase row, this is very simple. Now you're going to do single crochets in each stitch around. Okay, and once you finish that, now we're going to move into another increase row. You're going to increase by six once again, and uh, depending on where you are on your stitch count, that's going to vary for all of us. Okay, and once you're finished with your increase row, we're nearly finished. Now we just need to do one more row of single crochet. So whatever number you uh, finished on, just repeat again with single crochets in each stitch across or around, and then you are finished. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll take a look at our hats. Okay, and I'm finished with my hat here. And before you fasten off, go ahead and have a look. Try it on uh, because you may find that you want to have more, add more rows to make a floppier hat. Here's the back side. As you can see, you've got your rim easily visible here. This is a really simple pattern and you can easily uh, adapt this to fit your knees. If you want the uh, tip here to be longer, you can just add a few more of those single crochet rows in there. Or if you want it to be shorter, you can take some away. You can really play around with this. And if you're happy with everything, now it's time to just slip stitch and fasten off. I like to slip stitch into the next two stitches. That seems to help kind of bridge that to make the circle look a little bit more even. So go ahead and slip stitch one and slip stitch two. And then you're ready to cut and weave in your ends and you have your witch's hat. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a lot of fun to share and make with you guys. Uh, thanks for playing hooky with me and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.